Hello everyone, Derek Shirley here. I am a counselor and a speaker and the um, lead writer and founder of uh, It Takes Two. And that program is a charity for youth at risk. Yeah, a couple days ago, I was in a grocery store. Uh, while I was standing in checkout, there was a young man that came uh, up beside me. And he had a couple bags of marshmallows. And uh, I remembered, as soon as I saw the marshmallows, I remembered that I... I had forgotten to pick up marshmallows. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, hey, where did you get those marshmallows from? And he said, well, they're just on the other side of the store over there. I said, well, how much, how much are they? Because uh, I think they're like a dollar thirty or something like that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to go get some marshmallows. And this guy, he's about, about 12 or 13 years old, he said, take my marshmallows. He gave me these two bags of marshmallows. And then he went back and got Two more bags for himself. And I was shocked at this. And everybody I've told about this story, they always go, wow, at that part. So what I did with the cashier is I paid for his bags of marshmallows. So I, I bought four bags. And I told her, don't, don't tell him. I said, I want to pay it forward because this guy is giving me just that raw kindness. And so I left the store. And then I couldn't get this guy out of my head. And then I watched him as he walked out of the store. He had a big smile on his face and he waved. And then we started talking. He came over to the Jeep and I started chatting with him. And I said, you know what, did, did, you, get, did you get my pay it forward? He goes, yeah, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. I said, wow. I said, you know what, guys like you are rare. That kind of, that kindness that you, that you have, it's, it's a rare thing. And then he started telling me about some of the other things that he does. Um, for other people. Like he said, well, you know, sometimes I'll carry people's groceries home uh, just because. And sometimes I'll do something else just to help somebody else just because. And then he said, I also run a charity. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. So this 13-year-old, and his name is Isaiah, and every Christmas Eve, they walk, no matter the weather, no matter the rain or snow or coldness, they walk um, from the police station to the fire station to the EMS, and they give gifts back to those officers and, and, and people that are working, first responders. So they call it Operation Christmas Thank You. And they've been doing this for three years. And when I found this out, I, I, I gave Isaiah my card and I said, please let your parents contact me. He really, really changed uh, the way I see um, kindness and, and, and he exudes kindness. So she called me and then we talked on the phone and I'd like you to meet um, the, the king of Operation Kindness. This is Isaiah. So, <laughs> so Isaiah and I have been chatting. And Isaiah, just tell them a little bit about uh, what you do, what the, what the, the charity is, and, and what you do every Christmas Eve. Well, every Christmas Eve, we, well, before Christmas Eve, we go around to the local businesses, and we ask them if they would like to send the card to make a donation. And the city has helped us um, this year to get to... We're doing it to Scoops, and Scoops has gotten almost like 10 trays so far. So Scoops is what, treats? Treat trays, um, yeah. like little cookies, biscuits, all that. Okay. And each one is $25, but the businesses have helped us this year to get them. Okay, so then you take this these trays and you deliver them to who? Who do you deliver them to? Fire, police, the ambulance, the hospital, the OPP. Now, Isaiah, why do you do this? Because they're there to save anybody in need. Like, for instance, my brother has a medical issue, and many of times they have saved him. And that's pretty much the reason. So what you wanted to do was give back. They give so much to us, and so many people just pass it by. But no, not a lot of people say thank you to them. They're not noticed that much. Okay. So, 
we want to get everybody to say thank you instead of just walking by. Say, hey, thanks, you, you saved my uh, house. Or, hey, my bone's feeling much better. Thanks for the cast. <laughs> so what's, um, what's your, your plan for this, this Christmas Eve? This Christmas Eve, we're planning to get them a little tray that they can all have a little something instead of just a little bit of box of chocolates so that very few of them get something. A tray with 36 pieces so that the whole crew can have some. Okay, that's fantastic. Who is it that goes with you on Christmas Eve? Well, there's me, my sister Angelia, my sister Allie, my sister Grace, my brother Nerd, my mom, and my dad. So your whole family goes along with you? Yeah. And every Christmas Eve you go along and you walk from one place to the other delivering these goodies and these gifts. I, I hear that, uh, that more people are picking up on this idea that you've been contacted from different places around the world and also London and Sarnia, they want to do the same type of thing. Yeah. That's fantastic. So Isaiah, the reason why I'm here today is to, to um, have Isaiah. I'm bringing on Isaiah as um, one of the spokespeople for the It Takes Two program. And Isaiah is going to be leading up the um, what we give back to the officers that are riders. And all of the, the police that are involved in the, the ride... Uh, the Ride of Promise, the 2013 Ride of Promise, and all the and the 2014 It Takes Two program. Isaiah, we're going to be taking our inspiration from Isaiah because, like I've been saying, this guy's Mr. Kindness. He's one of the Wonder Boys. And here's what we want, is we want people to help Isaiah um, bring his the rest of his dream to life. Uh, what's the, what's your big dream here, Isaiah? The big dream is to be able to supply the emergency services with what they need, like the incubators for the children that have some skin disease or something, or, or say the firemen need a new truck, they could get a new <laughs> truck. See, Isaiah's got, I love Isaiah because he's a big thinker. Isaiah does this every Christmas Eve. His family... They do it every Christmas Eve. And I'm here and they've invited me into their home. And they're here and there's there's cookies around the table and, and hi. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? So there's Isaiah's brother and his mother's there. And there's his sister over there. And dad's back there someplace. <laughs> Peace. 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 Folks. This is the family that walks around Christmas Eve and, and helps deliver some of uh, the, the gifts back to the people that are giving. I want us to give to them. Uh, below you'll see a website link. And when you go and you visit that website, um, you can make a donation. We want to help them actually establish a not-for-profit agency. And that costs money. So we need your help. Um, we need your contacts. We need you to... Take this video and spread it out as, to as many people as you can uh, as you can to let them know about this program and what's happening. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited about it too. I'm excited. To, I'm looking forward to working with them, um, with Isaiah and also one of the other Wonder Boys I found in Calgary, Nick Lepchuk. And uh, Nick is a 13-year-old keynote speaker, and uh, it's it's just amazing. What an amazing opportunity that I have to be able to connect up with these guys and uh, have them lead the way. Listen, thanks very much. A, a nice big uh, big thank you to um, to all of the uh, police services and uh, emergency medical services and the fire departments that are watching this video. If you've got this, this is your guy right here. This is your guy right here that's going to lead the way. Please help him help you. Sounds like a bit like Jerry Maguire, yeah. doesn't it? But <laughs> okay, thanks very much, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want some more information on the It Takes Two pro program, uh, you visit my website, www.derekshirley.com. If you want to hear more information on um, Isaiah's website and his work, go to... What's the, what's the website address? 
www.operationchristmasthankyou.webs.com Operation Webs Webs com. It's right there on the bottom of your screen. I know. Okay, you guys take care. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.